We've looked at where used nuclear fuel comes from and what it's made of. Now let's talk safety. Yes, used nuclear fuel is different than, say, a burnt pile of coal. But used nuclear fuel is actually easy to handle and easy to store. Some people confuse commercial used nuclear fuel with the 56 million gallons of radioactive nuclear weapon sludge at the Hanford site and the environmental cleanup that's going on there. America has never had a problem with nuclear fuel, new or used. We've never had any release of radioactivity while transporting nuclear fuel over millions of miles on the road. No one has ever died handling commercial nuclear fuel, unlike chemical waste or biological waste. I've handled all three, and I'll take nuclear waste hands down. The reason I say this is that commercial nuclear waste is solid. It can't leak the way liquid waste does. It's really heavy, so no one can run up and steal it. It can't be used to make weapons, not even a dirty one. And the radiation coming from it is really easy to measure and to shield. It's a million times easier to measure radiation than it is to measure, say, lead or mercury or dioxin. We can see one atom disintegrating, but you need billions of atoms of mercury to see it at all. This is a double-edged sword because we always see radiation, even in nature, and this tends to freak people out. But it takes a lot of radiation to hurt someone, which almost never happens. This is why nuclear power is the safest form of energy we have in America. So do we need a long-term or interim repository for used nuclear fuel? Absolutely. But with climate change and concerns about CO2 emissions, we shouldn't throw away what is our best tool to fight it in the electricity sector, nuclear energy. Listen, we know how to handle used nuclear fuel safely. We know how to store it for hundreds or even thousands of years if we need to. What we need is the political will to follow the science we already know.